Consider this fenced-in yard. Area is the amount of space inside a shape. In this example, the grass represents the area of the yard. Perimeter is the distance around the outside edge or rim of a shape. The fence is the perimeter of this yard. Area and perimeter are types of measurement, and when we measure things, we have to choose an appropriate unit of measurement. For area and perimeter, we need a unit for measuring length. We could choose to use the metric system. Those units include millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers, or we could use the customary system. That's inches, feet, yards, and miles. Area is measured in square units. We can divide this rectangle into squares. These are called unit squares. In this case, they're each one yard long and one yard wide. We're using the unit yard. Each square has an area of one square yard. And there are 12 total squares. So the area of this rectangle is 12 square yards. We can also write that 12, YD for yard, and then two as an exponent, which means squared. This strategy is called tiling. Think about a tile floor where each tile is shaped like a square. We can use tiling to find area by first dividing the rectangle into square units like this. Then we simply count the number of squares. In this case, there are 10. So this rectangle has an area of 10 square units. Now those units might be feet or meters or miles or inches, but we haven't given it a specific unit. So we're just saying units here to be general. Perimeter is measured in units, not square units. So once again, we can divide this rectangle into squares. This time, they're each one yard long and one yard wide. We're trying to find the distance around the rectangle. To do this, we can count the edge of each square that touches the perimeter of the rectangle like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This rectangle has a perimeter of 14 yards. Once again, this strategy of dividing it up into squares is called tiling. Let's use tiling to find the perimeter of this rectangle. Divide the rectangle into square units. Count the edges of each square that touches the perimeter of the rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice how this square actually gets counted twice and that's because it has two edges on the perimeter. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This has a perimeter of 14 units. Let's try one more area problem. When you're doing this on paper, a good tip is to place a dot on each square as you count it to keep track of which squares you've already counted, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This shape has an area of nine square units. Remember, area is how much space fills the inside of the shape. So if we simply count how many squares fit inside this rectangle, we have found the area. Now let's practice one more with perimeter. And my tip for perimeter is to place a little mark on the edge of each square as you count it to keep track, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This rectangle has a perimeter of 12 units. And remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside edge of the shape. So here we were counting the edges of the squares that touched the edge of the rectangle. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description.
and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.